more. This may look like a typical door, but under its skin, it's a lot more. Not just because it's fire resistant up to 1700 degrees, or that it is exceptionally strong, or even that it's made with green technology. This door is made of wheat. Yep, wheat. The same stuff that's in cookies and crackers. Doors are very important. They're barriers, and they do protect us. There are three parts to a door, and the part that is the wheat is actually the core, which is about 90% of the door itself. But how can wheat make a door? Isn't that a job for wood? After all, wheat is just a grass. True, but it's a lot different than your front lawn. In the genus Triticum, grass is a common green plant with jointed stems and long, narrow leaves. And it's these jointed stems that provide the strength to stop a raging blaze. We're going to go ahead and cut out a block to see what's inside. This door is a 60-minute fire-rated door. A comparable wood door would be 20% heavier, and yet it wouldn't hold the 60-minute rating. As you can see here, we have the three parts of the door, which is the core, the plug, and the veneer. Core being the most important part for the fire rating. And that's just one reason why wheat is in more places than you might think. seed to maturity. Throughout the world, the perpetual cycle of agriculture is in an ever-changing state of development. Harvest time is the culmination of the year's hard work, the product of a successful combination of enterprise and nature working in perfect harmony. In the industrial world, many have overlooked the advantages of this natural partnership, exploiting precious finite resources overlooking alternative opportunities in the name of progress. Over the last decade, unchecked development of this kind has resulted in environmental destruction and deforestation on an unprecedented scale. The global market for wood-based panel products is a rapidly expanding growth industry. Worldwide, the trade of this commodity is worth a staggering $11 billion a year. The plant will produce high-quality board from almost any locally sourced material, such as wheat straw, rice straw, sugarcane bagasse, or cotton stalks. As the process uses an MDI polyurethane binder, most raw materials can be used as harvested. The costly additional drying lines found in wood-based processes are therefore made redundant. Raw material is broken down into particles and pneumatically conveyed to a storage hopper. It is then elevated to a batch weighing hopper before entering the resin spray chamber. The material is formed into mats, with any overspill being recovered for later use. The mats are then conveyed to a multi-daylight, steam-heated hydraulic press, capable of handling up to four mats at a time. The press is heated to a temperature of 160 degrees Celsius and generates the equivalent of 1,000 tons in force. With a low capital investment, reduced labor costs, readily available local raw materials, and 24-hour operation capability, the plant is more than a value-added acquisition, it is a valuable business opportunity.